Hey guys, uh, a public safety announcement warning video about Earth 2 IO. It is a money laundering and Ponzi scheme. Do not invest in it. Do not even go near it. It has a crap ass withdrawal system. There's no secure way of actually keeping your details safe. You will be getting calls from different companies asking for your money. You will get debt collectors going, oh, you owe us this, this, this. And you'll be going, what do you mean I owe you this, this, and this? I don't owe you this, this, and this because I never bought this, this, this. The other thing I'm going to say, do not even, even consider using a real estate name to be dragged through the mud. That is what one person on YouTube has actually done, and if I am looking at it correctly, and I do mean if I'm looking at this correctly, it would be from the from um. Wow, it looks like it's a stock image. Hmm. This is interesting. I don't mean this is very, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, I've I've seen visual photo of um, Earth Two IO visual. It looks like it's a asset, a reverse it, so it been, might have been stolen. That buggy looks like it's been stolen as well. That vehicle. Just saying, it might look stolen. But I have no idea. Though it does actually look like it's from Jurassic Park. Wait, if that is from Jurassic from the Jurassic Park games. Oh boy. Oh boy. Some people are gonna be in trouble. Some people are going to be in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to say um, some people are going to be in trouble. Um, just One person's gonna be in trouble for um, using real a real estate agency, real estate agency's name. Ooh, account does not exist, huh? On, you, on Twitter? Hmm. Since I'm doing a little digging here.
Hmm. Seems like um, one person can be in a whole lot of trouble, really. Like I said, a whole lot of trouble. Um, one person who can also be in trouble is a pathological liar. And I do mean a pathological liar. Um, he says he's in Canada. I found places, I found information that says otherwise. And seeing as he actually did consent to an interview, the law would be looking differently because A, he's given consent for an interview. Not, oh, you, you can't say you've been recorded illegally if you gave your consent. And this pathological liar has been playing, well, was playing a game that was not meant for him to be played as I said the game was M15 Plus when it came out. Which is two games, came out in 2009, and 2013 which is a four year gap. So they were playing M15 plus games without an adult supervising them. That's actually against the law now. If you play an R18 plus game now, you virtually have to have an adult in the same room. If the adult is playing it for a minor and they're not gaming in the same room, well that game does not get sold at all. It is a law. And seeing as I, well, this person is using the real estate name is actually using Shane Isaac's photo in a number of videos, which hasn't come into fair use because it's supposed to be himself in the video, not um, putting the founder of Earth 2 on the thumbnail, because let's face it, it's all clickbait. Yeah. And this person, in one of his videos, said MMO stands for Massive Media Online RPG. Um, MMORPG actually stands for Massive Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game. Examples of that would be World of Warcraft, DC Universe Online, um, Destiny 2, because you can find other players in the world, on the world that you're on. Um, Uh, Anthem would be another one, Elder Scrolls Online is another one, Black Desert Online is another MMORPG, Guild Wars 2, RuneScape, Final Fantasy Online, EVE Online, Lost Ark, Star Trek Online, Nether Winter, Reckoning Online, Lord of the Rings Online, Lineage 2, Rift, Arc Age, so was the Old Republic, one and two. Crowd for all, um, City of Heroes, Book of Travels, Warhammer Online, The Matrix Online, which was which closed. Um, Ten Thames and Online, massive online, massive multiplayer online RPG. Uh, Star Wars Galaxies that actually came and went. Wildstar. Uh, Maple Story, Penguin Club, which is now closed. Um, other games as well. So, to call massive multiplayer online role playing games 
a massive meteor on one RPG is kind of stupid. I mean, my IQ is 160.9, and I can understand what MMO RPG is. Whereas one, this person's who called it massive multi massive media online. I'm gonna say their IQ is not above 100. And I do mean that. Hmm. I never noticed this. This number up here. This is for this is for a review. Though I might keep him in the box. I'm gonna keep him in the box. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him in the box. I'm just gonna talk about him in a review video. Um, what else is there? I mean, what else can I talk about Earth 2.io apart from it being the biggest scam to date? And I literally do mean the biggest scam to date. It is a money laundering scam? Is it a posy scheme? It comes under illegal. There's no, it's not under any stock exchange. It's an unregulated site. It's illegitimate, it's illegal for starters because it has a clause in it that actually states that um, it also has unlicensed investments Investors, unlicensed sellers. Um, the clause I'm referring to is except as especially set out in these website terms, we do not warrant the accuracy and compliances or completenesses of the information on this website, nor do we undertake to keep the website up to date or updated. Now, legitimate companies aren't allowed to keep such clauses in their terms and conditions as it puts investors at a at an extreme risk. Which means this is actually, which means Earth 2 IO is actually going to be shut down permanently. And if I am guessing correctly, everyone who's involved will be actually thrown in front of court. And then I'll be sitting back and laughing because, hey, I guess what would happen? It's like, um, everyone's going, oh, Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be coming out 2021. Nope. If it was announced in 2019 and the pandemic actually pushed it back because, a hey, if we look at it, we are actually getting Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Remaster, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl remaster and then first month or just after the first month of next year it's pokemon legends of arceus so i'm gonna say june or july for breath of the wild 2 it could even be november for the sequel i'm not saying that room there's my guess it's like I'm guessing what will happen with Earth 2 IO and all the investors because all the investors will be claiming we want our money back. Including those who are actually giving money right now. And don't know that they are actually buying into a laundry scheme slash posy scheme. And under Australian law, this can actually be seen as such. This is a get rich quick scheme for the founder and early investors while leaving everyone else high and dry. Wondering when I'm going to get my money. You ain't going to get your money. You ain't going to see your money for that matter. It's like I don't even put on my Lincoln page. I just put D 
the area I don't live in. Unlike one person who actually puts where they live. Because I actually actually um am buying by government's terms and conditions and everything else, along with the website's terms and conditions. Though Twitter can actually go screw themselves for they're actually violating their own terms and conditions by not actually having it in Australian copyright laws, trademark laws, or intellectual property laws. And I burn them on that. I can upgrade, I can update my licenses and certificates. I can upgrade my work history. I can upgrade everything. Because I'm not like some little idiot who actually goes, oh, I'm still in school, but I'm working for all these companies overseas. Yeah. You want to try and litigate a few of these things because I'm sure that um, freelancers got fired from Dead Me 5 because they actually do have better people who can actually do a better job. I mean, a 17 year old getting a senior software engineer position, that sounds a little bit sus to me and I do mean a little bit sus because to actually get a senior engineer software or senior software engineer position you have to have 10 plus years of experience yet I'm guessing you just bullshitted that experience I could take up the software engineering course and go right you, teacher, you, mate, we're sitting down, we're doing this. You're teaching, I'm learning. I'm not even going to connect with this person because, A, they're probably going to send me a whole bunch of crap along with referral links to Earth2.io and say, oh, you can make money. No, I don't want to make money through Earth2.io because it's a laund money laundry scheme plus a Ponzi scheme. All rolled into one and nothing... But um, another person who's actually... Well, according to uh, their about section, their location is the United States. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that um, the Air Force would be quite um, interested in knowing that you're actually pushing a scam slash money laundering scheme slash a posy scheme. Onto people. Via a social media network, which what YouTube is. Not to mention you actually put up the same video that was actually put up by someone else, but with a introduction screen. Um, yeah. Unless you actually have explicit permission from said person... I'm again advise you to actually remove that video. Because that's what it is. It's virtually blatant disregard. Because the person actually said that the person that um, made the complaint and such of actually trying to sue a number of people for X amount of money is a pathological liar. They didn't know about this. And the video is, uh, yeah. Not to mention, he, um, he decries bullying of the person who actually brought civil contract. Saying that he was a 16-year-old kid. 
Um, 16 year old kid. Uh, no, I'm sorry, he's 15. He was 15 at the time when he brought out civil contract and just blatantly used assets that were stolen and didn't have actual permission from the Australian Emergency Services to actually use any likeness whatsoever. Which means that a this little black duck here actually did do a assessment while doing the diploma of digital and interactive gaming where a I virtually had to find the contract. Because one of the questions was your client's son wants to make a video game. What what does he need to do? What does he need to fill out? I found both contracts. The one for Australia and New Zealand, and one for the world. Rugby. You're probably going gridiron? No, rugby. Rugby is different to gridiron, trust me. Gridiron is nothing more than um, the pansy version of the Australian Rugby League. And I do mean the pansy version. No offense, America, but seriously. I actually want to see... How your guys stack up against the Australian rugby team in an actual match in Australia without their gridiron gear. Because Australia is actually a landlocked, an ocean locked mass, I should say, slash island slash continent. We, we grew up with, uh, no helmet at the time. Well, this is going back years ago when our parents had no helmet for bicycles and such, and then laws started coming in for you must wear a helmet. Most people don't even wear a helmet. Maybe those who actually ride motorbikes, yet they're probably going to end up six feet under in a grave for their stupidity of not wearing a helmet, which is actually law. If you're riding a motorcycle on the road, you have to have a helmet. Or a bike on the road. You have to have a helmet. I mean, there are some social sentences for religious one for religious headwear, like um, the Muslim men and such, or well, the Indian men, I should say, wearing their headscarf, the big headscarf. I mean, I, hey, that's fine. It's a head. It's 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 something that's on their head. They can't wear a helmet because it it wouldn't go over their religion's headscarf that they wear. It's like, um, because you can actually be done in for discrimination laws. Under the discrimination laws, you can be done in for actually telling, remove that and put a helmet on. That's the end of your police career. Because a, there are exemptions to the helmet laws. There are no exemptions from money laundering law, money laundering schemes, and posy schemes where a you have uh, you are literally breaking the law here. You are legit breaking the law. And that's it. It's like, it's, I've seen the video that this founder of Earth 2 put up. It's nothing like his profile picture I'm looking at. I'm betting this YouTuber did, doesn't have um permission from the founder of Earth 2 to actually use their image in um, their thumbnails. Considering that a everything in Earth Two IO is nothing more, nothing but a scam. It's a scam. And I'm sorry that this video is uh, nearly 25 minutes long or plus, because this is quite frankly very stupid scheme that can backfire on a whole lot of people. 
And quite frankly, I'd like to see it backfire on a whole lot of people, because then they'll be clamoring and such, where's my money? And then you have people who actually were cold calling those people, saying, oh, you owe this, and oh, you brought in this, we're sending it to you and such. They're going to be screwed. And I do mean they, those people are going to be screwed. I will not give my credit card details to a money laundering website slash pony scheme website at all. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even join up with it. The only thing I would do would be actually filing a lawsuit to actually have it all taken down, money given back, and the people who are actually connected with this blocked from ever coming back into the game industry or actually using any game development software. Which I'm saying that can be actually happening in, in as well. Well, there's another guess. Hmm. I'm guessing people who actually don't want to uh, lose their game development license and such better pull out. Mainly those who actually do have jobs that can actually pay them better than what the money laundering slash posy scheme can. Why am I not surprised about a few things? Why did someone summon me to a channel that is completely and utterly crap? Thumbs down permanently for Earth 2 IO. I won't even touch it. Like I said, I'm not going near it. I'm, I'm, I looked at the support, the about. Nothing there about secure payments or a using PayPal or a it being on the stock market and such or updates regularly. It's, it's going to be, we're just going to take the money and leave everyone high and dry. Which means a manhunt for the founder would be initiated. A manhunt for... The, um... Development team would be initiated. A manhunt for the advisory team would be initiated. A manhunt for the community manager would be initiated. And a manhunt for the creative person behind the logo would be initiated. Though, quite frankly, you can already find him at his um, address. Because he's probably getting more... He's probably being bumped up into the early investors and getting more money from it. So, yeah. The information I found from the ABN, I'm not going to suggest anyone look it up because that is evidence for ongoing investigation. I can say it's an ongoing investigation because I'm not allowed to talk anything else about that ongoing investigation apart from actually supplying evidence of it, of what I found to that investigation. If anyone else has any evidence that they've been scammed by Earth 2 and Earth 2 IO and by anyone else on there, please give it to the correct people. Mainly the IRR, the IRS and such. 
or your government legislator and such say, I've been, uh, who do I contact about being scammed and such by a money laundering scheme or a Ponzi scheme? And they'll probably go, wait, we get, we're getting scammed? How are we getting scammed? And an investigation will be launched. So any information of being scanned by these people would be evidence. I mean, one company can, well, police can already go across to one company. Already in, um, I think it's New South Wales or something, I'm not entirely sure. And talk with the person. Because let's face it, I wouldn't be surprised if police are already rocking up on the executive or the founder's door right now. Well, you're watching this video, or watching the end of the video, which I am now going to be ending. So, I hope you all enjoy your day. I'm gonna do what I need to do after this and just kind of relax and I've already finished my ice break coffee and I'm just using the bottle for water and now I'm gonna have a very very late something to eat so i'll see you all next video or well, you'll probably see this being talked about in next video which i'm now gonna have to wait to do tomorrow because talking about this really just drains you and i do mean that it really just drains you Completely, I might add.